Well, David, you know we're live, right? No. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, we, no. I think you can stop dancing. I think we got a little bit carried away. Oh, my gosh. How did I get talked into this? Actually, Jonathan, can I ask you a question before we yeah, start? Yeah, what's up? What is this that you had me put on? Well, it's a coconut warrior from the movie Moana. Oh. Have you seen it? No. Okay. Action item. Go watch it. Okay. All right. That's, that's a punch in my that Disney is. card, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. But oh. uh, welcome to Take 5. We are going to talk about... Cloud Container Builder. Awesome. I'm excited about it. Uh, what is that? So Cloud Container Builder is basically an automated way to run commands inside of the cloud with a very short-lived virtual machine. What we're going to talk about the use case today is with static website building. Because I run a blog, like many people on the internet do. No one reads it, like many people on the internet don't. Uh, and I was running into a couple of complications at the very end with creating a site and then copying and pasting it to a cloud storage bucket. Not because anything about it was hard, but because I couldn't remember the commands and you know, we should have machines do the things that we don't want to do, yeah. right? Yeah. Cloud Container Builder is a great example for that. Right. And I think one of the really appealing things after, after talking to David was that you're actually building this website with zero infrastructure. You're not setting up anything. You're just no. writing the code, you know, writing the website, and then pushing it. A few markdown files, a yeah. little bit of build time on Cloud Container Builder. It goes straight into cloud storage, and I don't have to mess with servers or anything. That's amazing. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Tell us what you did. Awesome. Here we go. So we're going to start here in our Cloud Console, which is where I have everything set up. In order to get Cloud Container Builder to run, you need two things. Let's dive into my blog repo here. And you can see the first thing we're going to need is this cloudbuilder.yaml. We'll go ahead and open it up in our Cloud Shell editor here so you can see what it does. This is just a simple YAML file that shows you the commands that you're going to run for each container in the steps of the process. You do not need to worry about working directories or anything because all of your source code immediately gets drawn into one slash workspace. And it also sets that as the working directory. So we can do something like pull this get repo into the repository, then run this command on it. So in this case, this would be the Hugo build command. So it actually builds the site. Uh, and then run gsutil on it so it actually posts everything over to the bucket. Easy enough. Easy. Now, that, now that's step one of what you need in order to get container builder set up is to put this thing inside of your repo. Step two, and you could go through the menus to find this, but I'm a big search guy, so I'm just going to search for it up here. I set up what they call a build trigger. So a build trigger is just something that you set up uh, a regular expression on a tag or a branch, and you hook it up to a repo, whether that's in Cloud Source Repository, as I have it set up here. It also plugs into GitHub or Bitbucket, uh, and it will run whenever you push something up there. So the simple demo we're going to do today is creating a new post. So let's do Hugo, new thoughts, uh, totally thinking. Let's find it up here in our nice browser. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Got to refresh on that. Refresh. There it is. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to add in uh, super serious thinking thoughts. This is the Rare. type of stuff. I'm, I wonder why nobody reads this, really. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get pull as best practice. So we're going to make sure that we get pull. And then from there, we're going to check our status. Got an untracked file. Going to add it to it. Oh, oh man. Typing on video, no pressure, am fat, I right? Fat fingers. All right, so we're going to commit it. We're going to call it new post time with a closing quotation mark, because that's how we do these things correctly. And when we push it up, what we're going to see is that a new build gets started over here in the build history. So here you can see all the different builds that show up. It's going to show up here if I can hit refresh. There oh, it is. There it is. Uh, so it's thinking. We could actually dive into this and see it live if it's a very long-running build process. Uh, mine is not going to be especially long. I think the average time is 16 seconds or so that it takes to build. Yep. That's that's me talking a big game here now because oh, I don't yeah. want video. <laughs> yeah. And those build steps actually mirror the exact cloud uh, the YAML file. Exactly. You can three for three. You can line it up exactly. Uh, nice. You can see here it's done, so it's already pushed to my cloud storage bucket. Uh, and what we can do is just go to the website, icon, boom. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, it is beautiful. It's lovely. You probably and then, have two viewers now, me and you. Oh, man, or at least me from two different locations. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
So, and then you can see super serious thinking thoughts. There you go. And that's all it takes. Wow, that was that was fast. I'm actually shocked at how easy it was. I mean, you pretty much, you had to install Hugo. <laughs> Obviously, you created the build trigger. You set up the YAML file. Mm -hmm. What else did you have to do? Oh, I mean, set up a source repository. Trigger and Yammer file was all the things that needed to do for a container builder. Yeah. Everything else was already baked in. I already had you Hugo and Git installed. That mm -hmm. was all going to happen. It's just a question of getting the cloud to build it and then getting the cloud to post it to cloud storage. That's great. Well, you're way under five minutes. Thank you for doing that. Any mm. other things that you want to share? Uh, I should watch more Disney movies? <laughs> yes, definitely. That's Thanks, all I got. David. <laughs>